All right, you have some images that you have in Blackboard, and now you decide you're really not happy with the size, and so you want to go ahead and resize them. So there's, in a previous video on adding images, I showed you two ways to add images. Now we're gonna show you how to resize those images. So I navigated to where the images are, the ones that I wanna resize. And I go ahead and <clears throat> for the first one, it's a content. So I'm just gonna go to uh, the edit option and select that and edit. And so it will bring up information regarding my image, what image it was. But now I'll come down here to where it's custom, where the dimensions are, and I'll go ahead and change that. So let me make it 100 by 100. So remember, in this case, you have to do the calculations yourself. And so uh, I've gone ahead and done that. But that's basically it. You go ahead and make changes to that. You can change anything else you want, but that's what we needed to do. And I'm going to submit this. So that big blue image is now pretty much postage stamp. So that's how you do that one. In this case, we have my new article and I'll go ahead and select that. And it takes me to the editing window and I can this bottom right hand corner has got these three lines in it. You can actually pass your mouse over it and you can extend that a little bit if you want to, to kind of fill it up in the window. So here I have my two images. I'm going to make these a little smaller. I'm going to say I'm going to make this one, um, I think it's 300. I'm going to make it uh, 100 and I'll make the other one probably 200. So what I need to do is I right click on the image and then I will select image. And so here's the information for my image. What I'm going to do is go to appearance and that, if you remember, that's where we can make those changes because the checkbox constrained proportions is checked. It will automatically change uh, based on any change I make in here. So I'm going to change this to 100. I'm going to tab over and immediately it changes to 100. So we're good to go. I'm going to click update. And as you can see, that's been made into a postage stamp. And I'm going to make this one also smaller. So I'll right click on it. Check image. Click on appearance. And I'm going to make this 200 and automatically, whoops, it'll make it 200 here. So it'll constrain proportions and I will update. And as you can see, it's made it a little smaller. So now I submit and I am good to go. That's what I needed to do to make those images look a little smaller. That's all there is. Thanks for watching.